Ah, this is the place. Where's our informant? Bad news from Hamish. His contact is running late. Impairing our frontal lobe again, are we? Don't knock it till you try it, bruv. The attack occurred just as Albion CEO Nigel Cass was announcing a new security Turn up initiative. the telly, mate! Our cameras captured video of the attack, which some viewers may find disturbing. Without their tireless work, we couldn't have rolled out these checkpoints. Watch out! 43C. Engage contact right. Aimed fire! Aimed fire! You liar! You fucking liar! You're going to kill us all! Government officials have yet to issue a statement, but Cass had this to say. An attack on me and my men is one thing. We're trained to handle these monsters. But I will not abide civilian casualties. This city deserves peace. And I promise you, London, we carry on as we are. These attacks will continue. But we don't need to live like this. Scared to leave our homes. Criminals. Terrorists like these. Can we stop before they even start? And I have a plan to do just that. Your police and politicians may have stopped fighting for you. But I will never stop. Thank you. This is what I'm talking about. Cass ought to be in charge of things. The hell he should. He's just another greedy bastard. Nigel Cass is the only one who gives a fuck about this city. Twat! Oi, break it up. Keep it civil. I'm not paranoid, but... Unbelievable. Fucking hell. Tell me you lot met with my contact and he had nothing to do with this. Your man never showed up, Hamish. But come on, this was a show. It has Cass written all over it. Think about it. Everything happened right in front of the cameras. We better check the attack site and get some answers. No, no, you don't get it, fam. Radu's been seriously unbalanced lately. Talking all sorts of rubbish about someone having to stop Cass, no matter the cost. Time makes too pat. Cass announces this new security initiative and then he's attacked in public. No way. Hope you're right. And it's not Radu gone off the deep end. This is the site where Nigel Cass was attacked, but, surprise, surprise, his personal goon squad has already struck the area for evidence. Albion does not waste the time covering the tracks. Mate, total cover-up. Yes, if you search for clues, I may be able to reconstruct the attack in augmented reality. Bruh, you're fucking handy, aren't you? There is a CTOS data relay nearby. That will have the data I need. Ah, right, cool, I'm all over it. You're sure? There was a large amount of ground to cover. Yes, what was sir. that? Area has... You asked right. for it. Give up! Who is that?
this does look like pro-terrorism, in the sense that it's both professional and in favor of terrorism. So the attacker had access to top-shelf hardware. Not much of a lead. Yo, let's find some shit. Searching facial recognition databases, and here he is, Radu Florin, an Albion employee in good standing, until he tried to drive an exploding truck into his boss. Radu? Oh, shit. Fam, that's the bloke put me onto Themis. My contact inside Albion. Whoa. So someone really was trying to murk Cass. He didn't stage it. What the fuck did he find to make him desperate enough to do this? Roll it, Bugs. Look at that. Albion trucks with black boxes on the undercarriage, just like aeroplanes. I can track down the black box, which should lead us to the truck's current location. Look up them plates too, maybe? Of course. I'll also monitor Albion communications and a thousand other little things you would appreciate. Looks like a disgruntled employee situation. <laughs> Boy, Cass did something to seriously piss man off. If there's dissension in the ranks, that's something we could use. First step, we need to get a look at that truck. According to Albion radio chatter, they've moved the truck to the Tone bombing site. And here's something even stranger. They've moved Radu Florin's body along with it. Hold up. Why take the truck to Tone? Albion has been coordinating recovery efforts at the site, which is rather vague. It's a dumping ground, isn't it? For problems they like to see disappear. If we find the truck, we find Radu. True say. autonomous. Tone. This is definitely where the Finsbury attack truck was delivered. That's right, but what we don't know is why they brought it here. Yo, yeah, well, let's find some shit.
They're shooting at us! This is the truck used in the Finsbury attack. I have a VIN and plate match. The dash cam is a shambles, but the local cameras picked up some audio. Worth a listen. Oh, Jesus. He's pretty burnt up. Happens when your truck explodes. Fuck. I used to see him around R&D. Did you know him? Hell no. But even if I did, I wouldn't fucking talk about it. You know what I mean? I'm detecting several optics nearby with no life signs connected. That's where we should look. For the driver's body. I've got this. This is our man. He's like too dead. You know, old dead. Yes, from the state of decay, I'd say this person died, oh, right around the tone bombing. So that's one mystery solved. I think I found him. Oh, look at all the burns. There's a lump of damaged metal in his noggin that might once have been an optic. But a damaged optic ain't gonna stop you, will it, Bags? I'm pulling everything down from his cloud storage now. I recommend escaping from the premises. Use the scene of a bombing to hide your skeletons, huh? That's fucked. If you consider that new bodies are constantly being unearthed from the tone wreckage, they can kill anyone they want and get away with it. For your own safety, this area is subject to random security checks. <laughs> I've decrypted an audio file recovered from the attacker's body. Shall I play it? Weave your magic, robot man. Yeah. He's launched them. They're waiting up there, and no one knows. People think he'll keep them safe, but that's not what he wants. He wants control. He sent them up there to watch us. And worse... He called them Justice, Themis, Drones. What a cruel joke. The project was dead, but he has the team re-engineering an upgrade that'll activate a systemic reboot, and you always hated it when I used my big-up words. I, I can't 
let it happen. And without him, it doesn't. Mom, I'm about to do something. Something awful. Or at least people will say it's awful. If they know what I know, maybe they'd think better of me. Less of a monster. But I'm trying to stop a monster, Mom. I am. If you had the chance to stop something terrible from happening by... by... killing someone, wouldn't you do it? Something truly horrible. I'm sorry. I love you. Fucking hell, fam. We've got mad little Themis drones up in space. The only thing between us and murder by Themis is a fucking upgrade patch. Might take months, but Cass could get the project back on its legs. Unless we destroy the drones themselves. Bugs boy, the Themis data we wiped at Titus. Any chance you remember enough to retro-engineer a more suitable upgrade? I'll do you one better. I can code a virus from the data itself. Bugs, you kept the Themis project data? What the fuck? When were you going to tell us? I asked him to. No sense in just flushing data. Never know what might come in handy or what you might learn. So, how do we use it to infect the drones? Albion's got a primary communications hub at Tower Bridge. Upload the virus there, fam, and all the drones get a dose. Let's roll. What This is Albion's primary communications hub, but there's more security here than there is around the Royal Meth Stash. You should start by destroying their encryptors. If your hacking skills are up to snuff, dominating a combat drone or two could help. Ah, right, cool.
can always surrender. I'm on the ground! Now! Got it. What else we got? using the central antenna. All right, cool. Looking. We're live. I'm reading incoming drones. For those angry little tennis drones. No, no, no. These aren't the algorithmically driven assassin drones. They're just the normal drones that also kill you. I know it's big and intimidating as antennas go, but you have to stay close to it for the virus upload to work.
big and intimidating as antennas go, but you have to stay close to it for the virus upload to work. I suggest you leave before someone gets the bright idea to turn yours off. The virus upload won't continue until you get back to the antenna. Don't worry, it's more afraid of you than you are of it. Cass's plan to use drones driven by some social algorithm to dispense justice has backfired. Do you think he's actually... ...read any of those Greek myths he's named his drones after? What's to stop the next plan, and the one after that? Cass is the real problem here. We have to figure out a way to stop him. Yeah, and that's not even mentioning his drone army, his regular army, or the fact that this idiot city is full of idiots who support him. If we go after Cass head on, we'll look like terrorists, which is exactly what he's been calling us. So we take the people's support away, fam? Bags and me have some thoughts on what we gotta do. You lot better come in for a briefing. Albion confirms that the explosions seen in the skies over London were indeed an Albion drone project that was sabotaged by the DedSec insurgency. In an exclusive interview with GBB Radio 1, Albion founder and CEO Nigel Cass had this to say. Truth is, the supposed freedom fighters of DedSec have made London less free. That drone project was meant to replace Albion boots on the ground, let the city get back to normal, but now... I can't in good conscience stand my people down. That's not how I lead. Cass went on to implore listeners to treat any suspected dead sec operatives as terrorists and to immediately report them to Albion. Hey, what the fuck is Cass on about? Man spends his life killing to stay in power and now he's acting like he's done nothing wrong. Come on, man. And it's working. Sorry, that was too cheerful. Sadly, it's working. Too sad? It's what he does. Scares the shit out of people, then swoops in and plays the hero. We've got to show them what he really is. So that's his weakness, his image. If we shatter that, he falls apart. We got a proposition on the subject. I bagly do your thing, man. This is Claire Waters, political dissident and podcaster, reported missing after teasing a salacious upcoming episode. Sadly, it never aired. So all we have is this. On the next episode of Buccaneer Radio... I'm chatting with someone from deep inside Nigel Cass's inner circle. He's promised me something that will expose Cass as the tyrant I know he is. This is going to blow the roof right off White Tower. See you next week, pirates. Nigel would have spun that interview if it was spinnable. If he went after Waters for it, that tape's a smoking gun. We've got to have it. Claire was known to broadcast out of Freight One. You should begin searching there. Claire Waters appears to be an equal opportunity muckslinger. Albion is her target of choice, but she's railed against tech genius Sky Larson, SIRS, and Plan Kelly. Opinionated, isn't she? She could bear dominate if she had dead set giving her intel, man. Sounds to me like a wicked team up. She's been digging in Cass's shit for a while. 
If what she has isn't enough to squeeze his bollocks in a vice, then maybe she'll join you lot and help find something. 